Now, obviously, the Las Vegas Raiders have this entire Jimmy Garoppolo situation kind of going on. Uh, at the same time, the NFL has came out and said technically Tom Brady could play for the Raiders. And it's also something that a lot of people have speculated, and I do want to just talk about it really quickly because we did get an update uh, from one of the Raiders coaches' fathers. Uh, we'll get into that in just a second here, but the NFL did come out and they did say that Tom Brady can own the Raiders and he can play for the team. Uh, basically, for him to be able to do that, uh, the first thing is, is that Tom Brady would have to get three-fourths of the league's approval. Obviously, that would be to acquire the, the Raiders. And then the second is that he would need three-fourths of the league to vote on whether he is allowed to play or not. Uh, so three-fourths of the 32 teams in the NFL uh, comes out to 24 teams. So 24 of the 32 teams have to say, yes, Tom Brady is able to play now. Uh on the Raiders schedule, we have 14 teams that we play every single year, right? 14 different teams. Um, I would argue that most of those 14 teams are going to say no, right? Most of them are going to say that we're playing the Raiders this year. We don't want Tom Brady to be a part of this Raiders team. We don't want Tom Brady to end up playing. Um, but for Tom to play, 24 teams would have to obviously vote for him to be able to play. Uh, and a lot of people have been talking about this, right? Troy Aikman said that he could see... Uh, a situation where Tom does come back, right? Tom Brady does come back and he does play for the Raiders. Obviously, as I mentioned, one of the Raiders head, or one of the Raiders coaches' fathers, that is Michael Lombardi, uh, actually came out and, and had some interesting things to kind of say about the Jimmy Garoppolo situation. Um, I want you guys to keep in mind, Michael Lombardi is part of the media and Michael Lombardi has put out some stories that obviously his son, has told him and i think at this point both of his sons are coaches for the raiders um but they in my opinion have told this guy certain things right michael lombardi talked about the darren waller situation he kind of gave us some insight that we had not heard prior so to me when michael lombardi talks especially with certain things with the raiders i think it's, it's something to listen to uh, lombardi said that in his 35 years in the nfl he did a lot of contracts and he said 70% of them included an injury waiver of some sport, some sort, especially on a veteran. Unless something catastrophic happened with Jimmy Garoppolo's foot, he will be the Raiders quarterback. Um, it's interesting that he's saying that 70% of the contracts he's done over his 35 year NFL career had some sort of injury waiver. And this is kind of what we're learning over the past you know couple days. Um, I believe it was two days ago, Jason at overthecap.com, who specializes in contracts, also said the same thing, right? He says it's very normal to have an injury waiver in contracts. Uh, people have taken shots at Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk saying this guy blew this story out of proportion, right? And let's be honest, once you get a story out there and it starts trending, everybody starts talking about it um, and it becomes a big deal. And that's kind of what happened for us over the past couple of days, right? We talked about this story a couple of times now. Um, today's probably the final day we're going to talk about it, but um, you know, I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to play. I think it's a very normal situation for Jimmy. And I'm glad that Michael Lombardi came out and clarified, uh, you know, although it would take only 24 votes to get Tom Brady to actually dress up for the Raiders, it's not going to happen. All right. Between being the, you know, between the fact that Jimmy Garoppolo is under contract, we've guaranteed him money. The fact that we've already invested in him. Um, and the fact that he signed this contract and he wouldn't have done so if he didn't think he could play and be healthy, you know, all of that kind of just goes hand to hand. I don't think Tom Brady's going to play for the Raiders. And I think what Michael Lombardi also said makes a lot of sense. I just don't see it happening, but I am still excited for the Raiders. You know, yesterday I did a, uh, I had a Raiders beat writer on, on this channel and we talked, right? We're going back and forth. We talked about the Raiders. We talked about some of the depth. And I'm actually really excited to see what the Raiders end up doing this year. I think there's some upside for the Raiders. I think um, I think we can be a good team, right? I think, team, I think people are kind of underestimating our corners a little bit, our defensive line. Um, I think our O-line is much better than the credit we get. And then our offensive playmakers are arguably the best in the NFL. You know, you win today based off your offense, right? It, it doesn't matter who your, um, you know, your starting D tackle is. It doesn't matter who your starting 
even then, it doesn't matter who your starting center is, really, right? Because if you have the best playmakers, you're going to win games. Uh, we saw Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals have so much success over his first couple of seasons. Um, after, obviously, he got hurt, I believe, in his rookie year. But when he got healthy, he had a lot of success. And he still had one of the worst offensive lines, right? But it was because he had all these playmakers, right? T. Higgins, uh, Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, Joe Mixon. And the Raiders kind of have that as well, right? We got our own group of guys as well. So I don't see why the Raiders couldn't have success in this in, in this NFL era, right? In offensive driven league. Um, I think the Raiders can have success. Well, obviously what ends up happening, I do think we're better than what's kind of given. And I do expect Jimmy Garoppolo to be the Raiders quarterback this year. I'd be very surprised if it's anybody other than Jimmy G. I'd be very surprised, especially if it's Tom Brady, but you know, the rumors will continue. I want to know what you guys think. I hope you guys all have a great day today. A super busy day for me personally, but I hope you guys all have a great day. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.